The following information is provided as an educational service of Rebif, Interferon Beta 1A, for relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis. You should only use Rebif syringes and the Rebiject 2 auto injection device after proper training from a medical professional. Please watch the video to the end for important information and refer to the accompanying medication guide. For many people, the thought of self-injection is daunting, but with the proper technique, subcutaneous self-injection is manageable. In fact, for some people, it becomes just another routine, just like walking your dog. There are two basic techniques for injecting Rebif, a pre-filled syringe alone, or with Rebiject 2, a mechanical aid designed to help proper injection technique. You should only use Rebif syringes and Rebiject 2 after proper training from a medical professional. For more detailed information on self-injection, including Rebiject 2, please refer to the Rebif medication guide and the Rebiject 2 instructions for use. To begin, remove the pre-filled syringe from the refrigerator. If you are just starting your Rebif therapy, Check the expiration date and examine the syringe contents to make sure that the medicine is clear to slightly yellow. If it's outdated or cloudy, discolored, or contains particles, do not use it. You should store your Rebif in the refrigerator, but never allow it to freeze. Once removed from refrigerator, allow Rebif to gradually reach room temperature before use. Doing this may minimize injection site discomfort. It typically takes a minimum of one to four hours for Rebif to reach room temperature, and the exact length of time may vary depending on environmental factors. Never heat or microwave the syringe to warm it. Rebif can be stored for 30 days at room temperature if the temperature is under 77 degrees Fahrenheit and the syringes are kept away from heat and light. Some people find it convenient to remove their injection from the refrigerator first thing in the morning so that it's ready for use later on in the day. Another option is to remove all three of your syringes at the beginning of the week, so they'll be ready for use when it fits into your schedule. If you use either of these methods, remember to temporarily store your Rebif somewhere safe and out of the way like a kitchen cabinet, so that exposure to light and heat is limited. Wash your hands with soap and water. Cleanliness is essential to minimize the possibility of infection. On a clean, clear surface, organize your materials. Alcohol swab, pre-filled syringe, cotton ball or gauze, and syringe disposal container. Remember, needles shouldn't touch any surface except clean skin. So keep the needle cap in place until you're ready to inject. Choose the injection site as directed by your healthcare professional. Make sure to rotate among all the recommended injection sites. If you notice any irritation, bruising, or infection, do not use that site. Clean the selected area as directed. If using an alcohol wipe, let the area dry to minimize stinging. Some health professionals may recommend soap and water in place of alcohol swabs. Next, give the injection. Remove the syringe from its packaging and remove the needle cap. With your other hand, gently pinch the skin around the cleaned injection site to lift it up a bit and hold the syringe like a pencil or dart. Use a quick, firm motion to insert the needle straight into the skin at about a 90 degree angle. With the needle inserted, stop pinching the skin and gently and steadily Push the plunger all the way down. Take as much time as you need to inject all of the medication. Then, remove the needle and gently massage the injection site with a dry cotton ball or a warm cloth for several minutes. This helps to disperse the medicine and may help to reduce skin irritation. Some people prefer to apply a warm washcloth or cold pack after injecting. Remember, Skin reactions are less likely to occur 
if you make sure your injection sites are as varied as possible. It's not uncommon for soreness, redness, pain, bruising, or swelling to occur at the place of the injection. However, you should monitor your injection sites. If one of your injection sites becomes swollen, painful, or infected, and does not heal within a few days, contact your doctor. Be sure to discard the syringe and cap in the syringe disposal container, and keep a record of the date and location of each injection. Now let's do a quick review. Step 1. Bring the Rebif syringe to room temperature. Step 2. Wash your hands. Step 3. Organize your materials. Step 4. Select and clean the injection site as directed. Step 5. Give the injection. Then, discard the empty syringe in the disposal container and gently massage the injection site for several minutes. Step 6. Check your recent injection site for redness, swelling, or tenderness. Rebject 2 automates the injection process and may make injections easier and more convenient than a manual injection. To begin, remove your pre-filled syringe from the refrigerator. Check the expiration date and examine the medicine to make sure it's clear to slightly yellow. If it's outdated or cloudy, discolored, or contains particles, do not use it. Once removed from refrigerator, allow Rebif to gradually reach room temperature before use. Doing this may minimize injection site discomfort. It typically takes a minimum of one to four hours for Rebif to reach room temperature, and the exact length of time may vary depending on environmental factors. Never heat or microwave the syringe to warm it. Wash your hands with soap and warm water. This is essential to minimize the possibility of infection. Be sure you have a clean, clear workspace and organize your materials. Rebject 2 Alcohol swab Cotton ball or gauze Pre-filled syringe and syringe disposal container some health professionals may recommend soap and water in place of alcohol swabs. Check to be sure the gray needle cap remover is completely attached to the end of needle depth adjuster. While holding the syringe housing firmly on a flat, hard surface, align the dark yellow round end of the device plunger to the gray needle cap remover. Then, push the injector body down. This action moves the release mechanism inside the injector body until it can go no further. You will hear a click. Now, remove the syringe housing from the injector body. Note that Rebject 2 is preset to administer an injection 10 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch into the skin. If your healthcare provider directs you to change the depth setting, follow the instructions in the maintenance and troubleshooting information guide. Prepare your Rebif dose as directed by your doctor, nurse, or other healthcare provider. Do not remove the gray needle cap or syringe plunger. Hold the syringe housing firmly on a flat surface. Insert the Rebif syringe needle cap end first into the syringe housing. With gentle but firm pressure, guide syringe down into the syringe housing until up to one to three clicks are heard locking the syringe in the syringe housing. Screw the syringe housing and the injector body together. Pull the needle cap remover from the syringe housing to remove the needle cap from the syringe. Dispose of the needle cap, but keep the needle cap remover for subsequent injections. Prepare the injection site following either the instructions in the Rebif medication guide or the recommendations of your doctor, nurse, or other healthcare provider. If using an alcohol wipe, make sure the area is dry before continuing. Press the Rebject 2 auto-injector lightly against your skin. Apply light pressure so the injector body moves downward toward the syringe housing. This releases the safety lock 
so that the release button can be pressed. Press the release button and continue to hold Rebeject 2 in place on your skin for at least 10 seconds. The syringe contents are injected automatically. Lift the Rebeject 2 auto injector from the skin and gently massage the injection site with a dry cotton ball or warm cloth for several minutes. This helps to disperse the medicine and may help reduce skin irritation. Some people prefer to apply a warm washcloth or a cold pack. Remember, skin reactions are less likely to occur if you keep track of your injection sites and rotate them regularly. Do not use the same area for a minimum of seven days. A treatment journal is a great way to help you keep track of your injection sites. Unscrew the syringe housing from the injector body. Remove the syringe from the syringe housing and dispose of the empty needle and syringe properly in the syringe disposal container. Reattach the needle cap remover and the needle depth adjuster and store Rebeject 2 in its case. Now, to review, these are the steps for using the Rebeject 2 auto injector. 1. Wash your hands. 2. Completely attach the needle cap remover to the needle depth adjuster. 3. Using the syringe housing, engage the release mechanism. 4. Prepare the Rebif dosage as directed by your healthcare provider. 5. Insert and lock the syringe in the syringe housing. 6. Screw the syringe housing onto the injector body. 7. Pull the needle cap remover to remove the needle cap, then discard the needle cap. 8. Prepare the injection site and gently press Rebeject 2's injector body against the skin to release the safety lock. 9. Press the release button to perform the injection. Hold Rebeject 2 in place for at least 10 seconds. 10. Lift Rebeject 2 from the skin and massage. 11. Remove the syringe from the syringe housing. 12. Reattach the needle cap remover and the needle depth adjuster and store Rebeject 2. Rebeject 2 may be easier to use and may help with proper injection technique over manual injection. Using Rebeject 2 may also help reduce injection site reactions. Remember, for more detailed information on self-injection, including Rebeject 2, please refer to the Rebif Medication Guide and the Rebeject 2 Instructions for Use. Contact your healthcare provider if you are unsure about the proper functioning of the Rebeject 2 auto-injector or if you have questions about its operation. Important considerations regarding Rebif Interferon Beta 1A. Rebif is used to treat relapsing forms of MS to decrease the frequency of relapses and delay the occurrence of some of the physical disability that is common in people with MS. Efficacy has been established in controlled studies up to two years in duration. Rebif is not approved for the treatment of chronic progressive multiple sclerosis. Rebif is available by prescription only in 22 microgram and 44 microgram pre-filled pre-assembled syringes. Before beginning treatment, patients should discuss with their doctors the potential benefits and risks associated with Rebif. Let your doctor know if you have a history of depression, seizures, liver disease, thyroid problems, or blood cell count or bleeding problems, or if you've had previous allergic reactions to medications. Tell your doctor about all medicines you take including prescription and non-prescription medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Rebif and other medicines may affect each other, causing serious side effects. Talk to your doctor before you take any new medicines. Rebif is not recommended for women who are or plan to become pregnant. Potential serious side effects of Rebif include depression, liver problems, risk to pregnancy, injection site problems, and severe allergic reactions. Allergic reactions are rare and may be associated with difficulty breathing and loss of consciousness, which require immediate medical attention. The most common side effects with Rebif are injection site reactions, flu-like symptoms, fever, chills, muscle aches, tiredness, depression, abdominal pain, 
increased liver enzymes, and blood cell count decreases. Let your doctor know immediately if you have any of these symptoms or feel sad, tired, hot or cold. Experience hives, rashes, bruising, yellowing of the skin, or a change of body weight, gain or loss. This information is not intended to replace discussions with your health care provider. For additional information about Rebif, please read the enclosed Rebif Medication Guide and Prescribing Information and talk to your doctor. Rebiject 2 Warnings Do not inject yourself using Rebiject 2 until you have had proper training by a health care provider. Rebiject 2 must be used according to the instructions provided. Rebiject 2 must only be used with Rebif and not any other brand of interferon or medication. Do not share Rebiject 2 with anyone. Doing so may result in infection, such as transmission of infectious bloodborne diseases. Adhere to strict safety and antiseptic precautions at all times. Rebiject 2 Safety Precautions only use Rebiject 2 with Rebif pre-filled glass syringes with fixed needles that have been prescribed to you. Do not operate or store Rebiject 2 with an empty syringe. Do not point Rebiject 2 at yourself or others when loading the syringe. Always keep Rebiject 2 and Rebif out of reach of children. Injection Site Reactions It's not uncommon for soreness, redness, pain, bruising, or swelling to occur at the place of the injection. However, you should monitor your injection sites. If one of your injection sites becomes swollen, painful, or infected, and does not heal within a few days, contact your doctor.